Hey guys, Darth Clark here, back with part 28. <clears throat> Pretty sure it's part 28 of our Skyrim playthrough. Skyrim Remastered, pl Skyrim Remastered playthrough. Anyway, welcome back to Skyrim. So, sorry about the uh, weird uploads the last few the last few days. This week has been ridiculous. However, uh, I did finish just finish recording a Saints Row part that was fantastic, and I am hopeful and slash assuming slash praying slash doing my best to make this part fantastic as well. Anyway, so last time we did uh, we did a tiny bit. I think we did the Golden Glow job and almost nothing else. That's pretty much all we did. It was very, 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 very short. But we're back. Happy to be back. Anyway, so this time I'm not sure if we'll probably be uh, hitting a lot, hitting a lot of Thieves Guild stuff. Um, but otherwise, I am not positive what else will be happening. And, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. It is weird to be back on vanilla. I've been playing more of my of my modded Skyrim. And let me just say, it does not look like this. <laughs> let me just say. But anyway, a quick little... Uh, so, uh, before we hop get too aggressive as to what's happening. So, uh, very soon, I will have an exciting announcement for my channel. Um, I'm not... I it, it is exciting enough that it's going to get its own announcement video, um, so I'm and I'm not going to spoil anything, and I'm not going to give any details now. Uh, but suffice it to say, it is going to be super cool, and I'm very very excited. Um, that was the other thing. The second thing that we have to talk about quickly is I am almost done with my anime. Um, and so a positive anime review should be coming out very, very soon. It might be tomorrow or the next day, uh, but very, very soon because I am just about done with my anime and I'll probably finish it today. Uh, so yeah, you can, you can expect a positive anime review very, very soon. So very, very happy about that. Anyway, uh, I think that's everything. So let's see. The, the, we have Scoundrel's Folly, which is we're supposed to speak to Gollum I, and he is uh, he is in solitude. Mercer Frey has pointed to solitude as my next destination. I'm to meet up with an old Argonian contact for the guild named Gollum I. Uh, it's hoped he'll be able to identify the Thieves Guild's anonymous adversary. So that's the plan. Anyway, I tell you one thing. I am really tired of going on social media to find, uh, to, I was going completely the wrong direction, there we go. Anyway, uh, really tired of going on social media to look for memes, because the only reason I'm on social media, I'm on social media for, I guess, three reasons. Reasons number one is because I am friends with a lot of my extended family on, like, my Facebook, for example. Um, I, I don't, my Twitter, my Twitter is literally only for uh, A, following my, my favorite YouTubers or streamers, and and B, uh, to post things on my for, for my channel. That's the only reason I even have a Twitter. On Facebook, I and I was on Facebook long before I was on Twitter, and the only reason I am on, I'm on there for three reasons. First reason is I am friends with a lot of my extended family on there, and it's a it's a cool way to keep in contact with them without, I mean, you know, to, to, to kind of keep tabs on them, and it's kind of a nice, kind of nice to check in on your extended family that you talk that you talk to once a decade and just kind of just kind of be able to know that you can talk to them all the time it's it's pretty cool so that's the first reason the second reason is for is for memes and that's the biggest reason that I'm on there actively and the third reason is for my channel now my channel has has its own page and stuff so so you know it's a little different but I'm really tired of hopping on social media especially Twitter cuz that's where all of my you favorite YouTubers and streamers uh, talk about things, and really tired of hopping on and seeing t uh, political talk. Really, really, really tired of seeing politics talked about on social media when I'm just there for memes. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? <laughs> uh, the stories I could tell. Anyway, uh, yeah, r really tired of seeing politics talked about on social media. Really, 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 ir it's ir really irritating. I'm like, look, guys, I'm only here for memes, okay? And it's hard to look for memes when I'm scrolling through things that just that just piss me off. Now, I have my own view about politics and religion, um, but. In my experience, nothing divides people or gets people at each other's throats faster than politics and religion. That's not to say I'm anti-religion, because I certainly am not. I have my own religious views as well. However, um, you also notice that I don't talk about it on my channel. There's, there, there is, there is a reason for that. Or on, or on my social media. There's a reason for that too. It's because I want my, my channel, my goal, like, I, I want a place 
to have a community. I want a place where people can hang out and feel comfortable and have a place where they they come, hopefully they're coming to my channel to get away from their lives, to get away from life. And life includes politics. So it's so annoying to go online and be going there for memes and things that make you laugh, things that are funny and good and awesome and have to scroll past politics and people sharing sharing their stupid opinion and I am really 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 sick of it so I can tell you one thing although I obviously have no control over what what the internet's doing I can tell you that you're not going to hear politics or religious talk on my channel I'm um, again not I'm not anti politics I mean I, I mean, I kind of am. I, I'm, I'm not anti, like, you shouldn't bury your head in the sand. I do think you should know what's going on, like, in your, wherever you live. I think that, I think that is important. I think you should do your best to have an informed decision and not just fought, be a be a bandwagon. You'd be like, well, I heard this on on the internet, so it's probably true. Like, do your own research into, into people in politics and stuff. Don't believe what everyone else says the same thing with like watching a new anime don't listen to whatever everyone else says go watch it for yourself and then find out if it's good or bad same thing with politics find out everything for yourself but and never ever listen to what anyone else says but I can tell you that my channel is for people to come and hang out this is where we go to get away from life and its stresses this is where we go to hang out as a community together away from politics where it's just it's so irritating I'm really really annoyed with going on social media looking for memes and just politics 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 I'm like see this is why I shouldn't get off social media this is why I should only ever be on here to post something for my channel because there's no other reason it's so irritating anyway sorry little rant aside I just I had to get that out of my system because uh, I've been seeing it like incessantly online uh, pol uh, political talk and I'm sick of it I am sick of it I hate talking politics it's very it stresses me out a lot so I don't like talking about it. You're not going to hear that garbage on my channel. I can promise you that. And uh, yeah, you're not going to hear that crap here. So if you're here and hanging out, relax, sit back, grab a drink, grab something to snack on, and enjoy the fact that we are here to just hang out, talk about games and anime and fun things, and not politics or their stresses. So anyway, anyway, sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I really try to keep things chill and relaxed on my channel because that's how I am most of the time. But some there's a few things that really get get under my skin, and that's one of them. So anyway, I had I got it out of my system. We're good. Let's move on, and let's move on with our game, which is the reason we're all here. So let's do it. Sup, nerd? So what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. I'm here By about. Percent, oh, he's still I'd talking. Say you were from the guild, but that can't be true because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I'm here about Golden Glow Estate. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. You can drop the act now. Galalalalal, or whatever your name is. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Mm-hmm. You acted as a broker for its new owner. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Let's see. Um, I, I so none of no, the only thing that works is bribing him. Unfortunately, what would it take to identify the buyer? Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. Mm -hmm. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine that just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Deal. I love stealing. They're like, wow, that's dark. I mean, I mean, uh, um, I, d I don't love stealing. I meant. Feel free to make requests. Never. I have no requests for you. Wow, I didn't. Uh, that's probably from the battle. I imagine. I imagine. Too bad they didn't fix that thing. It's also kind of funny to me that uh, that, like, after the war, like, I mean, look at that. There's a giant hole in the roof. Things like that, like the the stuff on the battle, it so it doesn't get fixed. That seems so weird to me. Anyway, it just seems weird that like you know the like in the different towns where where the where the battles and the war are, it never fixes any damage that happens. And I'm like, but why though? Why not? The gods, the emperor's been murdered on his own. What do you care? More than the inlet, it was the dark brotherhood. There was nothing we could do. That's true, because you're a Stormcloak and he's the Emperor. Chill out. That's one of those things that just doesn't make sense. I'm like, why would the Stormcloaks be stressed about 
the death of the Emperor? They're Stormcloaks. The Emperor is the leader of the Empire. So what's the issue? Anyway, it's one of those things that you're just like, really? No one thought to, you know, f like fix that? Like remove that dialogue option from the Stormcloaks? Because why would they care? They wouldn't. I I mean, yeah, right? Because they, yeah, they, they, they wouldn't care. It's, it's completely unimmersive. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. Firebrand wine. I'll take it. What's really funny is the fact that it doesn't even count as stealing. Is you just walk up and take it. Yeah, you just you just walk up and take it. <laughs> it's just funny. Anyway, we had a really good part today in uh, Saints Row. We had we had a great. It was it was really good. We got a lot of progress done. We uh, yeah, it was it was fantastic. So as far as today, I guess we'll just we're we're mostly focusing on Thieves Guild. We're kind of just trying to power through and get it get it over with because I I don't love the Thieves Guild, so I'm kind of just trying to knock it out and get it done. And the oh, hang on. Please take pity on an old madman. What do you need? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Where can I find your master? Last I saw him, or he how? was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no. Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Deal. All right, then. I'm, I'm, I'm on a mission, but we'll, uh, we will look into that, possibly. Oh, Mr. Argonian. Hey, man. Ah, I see you have the wine. Hand it over, and we'll talk. I have the wine. Good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. You're trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. Smart man. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Arangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Did she say what she was doing with this? Not at or all. why she was doing this? I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. That's it? No name or anything? In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. I think you're lying to me. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Mm-hmm. Yep, just go about your business, sir. I'm totally not about to follow you. He'll never know. Especially with this armor, plus being a vampire, plus my high sneak skill. He'll never see me coming. It'll just be in crazy coincidence that I'm also heading that being way. Old's not so bad. Keeps me anyway, uh, spoiler alert, he's he's going to the docks, so, uh, I'm gonna shadow this Argonian dude, and we will, uh, gonna shadow this Argonian, and we will just, there he goes, and I'll just see you, see you at the docks. Alright, here we are at the docks, so he's going into the East Empire Company warehouse, and, uh, we've been following him like ninjas, he has no idea what's, he has no idea. We've been following him for a while. Hey, man. Psst. Hey, I know who you are. Hail Sithis. Ah, he knows. He's one. He's one of us. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Let's also pick this lock, which it's totally gonna give to me, and it's not gonna uh, make me suffer, right? Game. The game's like, yes, I'm sorry. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I think we only have one Dragon Priest mask. I think there's a total of uh, eight or nine. I mean, you could see eight there, but I think there's nine. Or I think there's eight. I think there was eight there. There might have been five on the right side. But it's hard to say. Anyway, ignoring that, I think that think there's nine. There's there's eight or nine of them. 
All right, here's where things get a little bit more interesting. So first, let's give it a save now that we're in the warehouse because this part can surprise you. Okay, we need to grab our daggers, which we already have. Convenient. Because there's going to be some sneaking and some stabbing along the way. Goat. Stupid goat. It's going to give me away. And we can't have that, can we? So there's a few other little side, like, other ways to go. Which helps you get the jump. Because there, there's guards in here, by the way. And this, uh, the, these other ways to go helps you get the jump on the guards. See what I mean? The guards. Luckily our sneak skill is obscene. So that's good. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my gosh, I'll be honest, I hit her twice because I was like, oh my gosh, she didn't die. Which was hard to believe considering considering our how high our sneaks her how high our damage is. I was trying to drag her away for uh, help hide the body, but alas. It's not meant to be. Alright, nice and quiet like everybody. Oh my gosh, look at all the iron. Yeah, no, I don't care about stealing all of that. Ooh, it was even a skill book we didn't have. Can't believe it. Alright, hang on, we have to drop. I think I picked up some hammers or something. Be in a jar, goat hide. Yeah, I picked up three hammers. I don't need any of those. Alright, so yeah, there is a way underwater as well, but we're going to stay on land. Because these guards aren't good enough to warrant any kind of special measures like that. These guards aren't good enough. Wow, it's a master lock. Seems a little bit of overkill, but... What do I know? Huh. Not sure I've ever gone up this way. I mean, hey, we could we could check, you never know. Make sure there's no one super obviously just staring at me. And luckily we did save it, so. We have a backup plan if we do get caught. Also, a chest. I mean, hey, and well, we are in the Thieves Guild, so it seems weird to care about stealing. Plus, considering all the people we've killed and the other craziness we've been through. Freaking seriously? Anyway, uh, it seems weird that they would, you know care now. Finally. Stupid lockpicking. Aha, there is a guard here. Oh. Huh. This guy has a name. Alright, so I'm not gonna kill him. He's asleep anyway, so. So yeah, that, that guy has a name, so he maybe he might have a purpose later, so we're gonna let him live. I don't, I don't care about killing the other ones, because, uh, they're just, it just says, you know, like, warden or whatever. Obviously, they're just guards. They mean nothing. Alright, so there's one dude on the boat over there. I'm not gonna shoot him because I don't trust my bow to be able to one-shot the guards. Necessarily. Whoops. <laughs> I think I knocked down all this weapons and armor. Okay, there's one guy there, and I thought that there was one that patrols... That patrols elsewhere. I could be wrong about that. All right, first let's first let's give it a save, considering how far we've made it. There's no reason not to. There's that guy just chilling. All right, so there's a few guards over there that do their thing. I'm tempted to hop on that post, hop onto the boat, and knife that dude. Well, now he's patrolling away, so maybe now's the time. Noble clothes. I don't need your stinking noble clothes. Yeah. I don't need that garbage. I also have just my computer. I just heard like all these fans turn on. And now I'm now I'm nervous. Okay, you know what? I'm going to check my computer, make sure it's not killing it cuz it might actually affect my recording if it starts doing something stupid. So, uh give me just a minute. Okay, we're back. We we appear to be good, but just kind of very sudden suddenly all these extra fans kick on you're like all right why why do you need the extra fans if you were just doing what you were supposed to you shouldn't need extra power 
Alright, so it looks like he is coming this way. I think he patrols around the back side of the boat, though. We will find out in a second, though. Please don't turn this way. If so, I can I can still backtrack. We're good. Yeah, I think he goes that way. And he's about to die. <laughs> Dead. Dead. Especially because it's like freaking 15 times damage. Like, it's not fooling around. My damage is called Razy. Alright. Let's roll. Keep it quiet. You're the last one. Complete the mission. Alright, give it another save considering all is going well. Alright, one guard over there that's patrolling. At the moment, patrolling away from me. I'm just gonna go ahead and hope that it's giving me uh, perks because of that guard and not anyone that I'm that I forgot behind me. I am choosing to believe that. So there's the one guard with the lantern or torch, I mean. Ah, but they didn't expect that, did they? Oh wow, look at that! There's a whole upper area. All right, we will go look at that before we leave. Probably before we go into the next area, to be honest. Mostly, I want to get this guard. Just in case. It would be nice knowing that, you know, behind me is probably, is you know, either c completely clear or mostly clear. That's just, just to be safe. I don't think he or she can't totally tell with the armor. Boo. <laughs> just like, bailed over the railing. I was like, now's my chance! Nice. Very cool. Alright, well, that went well, no? Alright, let's go look at this upper area. But let's do it quietly, just in case. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever looked at, like, the, uh, these upper areas, to be honest. I'm gonna be a little suspicious of going in through, through the front door. Let's just double check of what's inside here. Alright, it might be clear. Let's go ahead and give it a save, just in case it's not. That way we, we can reload in case there's someone standing right there or something. It looks to be clear. I don't need another wolf pelt. I have a million of it. Ooh, East Empire shipping map. I'll take that. That's cool. Apparently Delvin wants that shipping map. That's cool. Stole something else. The, the main thing I was trying to avoid. There's a lot of money laying around, which, you know, no surprise. No surprise there. Sweet. Well that's cool. I've never I've never found that before. That's awesome. Alright, now we can go ahead and uh, go to our actual objective. So the entrance is just over here. There we go, is it I think it's like over here and there we go. And back here. There we go. All right. Brine Water Grotto. So there is a few more guards in this one, but I think I I think in this one it's fine to just like, you know, charge in there with reckless abandon and kill them all. I think that's fine, but we'll still probably try and be quiet as possible just for the, you know, just for the meme. All right, first let's give it, give it a save, considering how well this has all gone so far. All right, nice and quiet, team. <laughs> These guys are just like singing away. All right, uh, ebony bow, that's what I'm using right now. Decision time. Alright, that was bold. You all you all can agree with me. You all saw I pulled that back the whole way. It just like didn't. Alright, we're good. I managed to salvage it despite that, but you you guys saw that. That was ridiculous. I drew that the whole way and it just fell down like I had barely touched it. That was ridiculous. We got it. It's fine, but it was it was retarded. Anyway, moving on, despite how stupid that was. I just want it for the meme. Give me that. I'm not ever going to use it, but I want it. 
I want it because I'm on, I'm a hoarder like that. All right, so I think there's at least at least two guards over here, maybe three. I think. Oh, I think I might have been thinking of something else. Oh, we're good. It was only it was only the two. There was this guy. And this lady. Skirmisher potion. I think I hit her in the side of the head with that with that shot, by the way. That's definitely lethal. And there's an upper area. Going through there, obviously, as you can imagine, there's spiders. And your other option is to go through the main way, and I think there's a whole bunch of bandits over here. And obviously, we'll take the bandits. Got him. Take that, bandit boy. So we can kill, we can kill these guys in pretty much two shots. Pretty much. Which is fine. Obviously, our draw speed is pretty crazy, so because of the, because of our enhanced speed at drawing, it's uh, you know, it's not not as bad as it would have been if we didn't have our upgraded arrow, you know, our upgraded draw speed. It would it would be harder for sure. Ah, this is what I was thinking of. The one that had several bandits. This is what I was thinking of. Oh, there's the old Skyrim warp. Everyone's best friend. Like a my how like a your shot like rocked me like you had hit me with I don't know a, a Mack truck or something. Well, some more BS there, but it's fine. It's fine. We got through it. I don't want your. I want the butter. Take all that. And then when I did shoot at the guy as he was coming at me, he warped out of the way. The old classic Skyrim Neo Dodge. It's so good. Just give it to me. Thank you. Piece of garbage. I'll just take it on principle. I just deserve that. Whatever's inside, I deserve it. This is why we're doing Thieves Guild. Trust me, there there is a reason. Otherwise, I probably would blow it off a little longer. There is a reason we're doing it. It's literally just for the lockpicking. Because I'm really tired of suffering through lockpicking. So, this will fix it. Fear not. I wonder if I could knife her. I probably could knife her. Although she is only wearing fur armor, she would probably die. Oh, she didn't die. She tried to warp out of the way, but I was too close. Even Skyrim couldn't warp fast enough. So that's another Marauder. The smoke is kind of, plus the fog is kind of making it hard to see, as you might imagine. I've been like, dude, like running circles so I can see past the smoke of my armor. There he is. I'm just gonna hold off. We're good. I like how she tried to warp out of the way, but she was so close, even the game couldn't dodge me. I love that. That that was awesome. And by I loved it, I mean I hated it, but we got through it, so it's fine. All right, two more kills for me. Oh, yay. More lockpicking. My favorite. Huh. How about that? A freebie. Nice change of scenery. Considering there was, like, not, almost nothing in there, that it, there be, there, uh, that better have been easy. Considering what a... Considering there was almost nothing in that one. See, that one wasn't even locked, but considering there was only 65 gold in there, that makes sense. I'm tempted just to go... Just to, just to kill these ones. Like, just charge in, but... Let's just, you know... We've done it this long... All right, somehow I missed twice. All right, we'll just we'll just wait till you're ready. How about that? You just we'll just wait till you're nice and ready. Don't mind the two arrows. Somehow I missed. Disagree, but what do I know? Oh look, it gave it to me that time. Yeah, you you like that, punk? No one even saw me. Now, stop, no Michael! Stop freaking moonwalking! This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything. Honestly, please, he'll have me killed. I don't care. Uh, tell me first, and then I'll decide. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. You say that name like I should know it. 
Mercer never told you about her? Of course not. He doesn't talk Carlia to me. Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her? Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Where is she now? I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Interesting. You needed to know more. Let's see. Uh, I'll keep quiet about your scam, but you owe me. Now you're speaking my language. Tell you what, if you need any stolen goods fenced, you bring them to me, and I'll pay you good money for them. Consider me your new friend in the north. Deal. Now you won't forget to tell Mercer I cooperated, will you? Oh, don't you worry, pal. Screw the guild. This is about me. Hang on a minute. Was that a Nordic bow? Nordic bow. Oh, I think it's garbage. <laughs> yeah, mine. mine's 48. That one is 32. I'll take it, but only to hang it up on my, on my wall or something. Uh, nothing good there. Expert lock, why? Don't worry, this is soon. This will no longer be a problem. Whoop. Freaking finally. Like, the window for 13 gold. I'm gonna freaking shoot you in the head. Somehow it's your fault. You needed to know more. That was retarded for like 13 gold. This game sucks. <laughs> I hate lockpicking. I hate it. And I hate it more. You know what? Nope. Screw you. I'm not doing you that. Needed to know more. I am not opening it. I've learned my lesson. There's like 12 gold in that one for a freaking expert lock. That one's a master lock. You can you can kiss my butt. I am not opening that. Stupid. Absolute garbage. You know that? Absolute garbage. Screw you, Gullum I or Gullum L or Cal L or whatever the freak your name was. Screw it. I'm done. We're out of here. I'm going back. We're going to Mercer. We're going to knock out this quest line. We're going to get the treasure I'm after. And then lockpicking can kiss my butt. Okay, we are back. So, we have to make a quick pit stop before we can actually go inside. Because somehow, don't ask me how, I, on the way out of that, uh, of the cave, I stepped on a bear trap, and the bear trap gave me a disease. Even though I'm a vampire, and, I'm, and I thought that was impossible, but, you know, what the freak do I know? Anyway, so, uh, yeah, somehow I got a disease. So, I had one, so it reduced my magicka, so... We had to hit the Temple of Mara so it would cure that disease. So, you know, whatever. Don't a don't ask me how at this point. Who who knows? Anyway, now let's go inside. Well, A, we need to talk to Mercer. But before that, we're actually going to run and go talk to Delvin to turn in that East Empire map. Uh, because, um, yeah, the East Empire map. What's because there's money in it for us. And that, that's a good thing. I think, is I think this is the way, possibly? No, this is the... Oh, you know, yeah, that, that's it. That's it. We're good. I was thinking of, I think, the other side of this, and there's the left turn, then there's the right turn. Or no, the right, then the left that goes outside. Yes, this is what I was thinking of right here. There we go. Delvin! Delvin! Bring your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? I know what I'm doing. Lying to my face isn't going to win you any favors with me. You are too close, bro. I promise you that. On the other hand, taking some of these extra jobs off my hands. Now, that'll get you to the top of my list. Yeah, See, yeah, yeah. You, that kind I'd of say I could use advice, but comes from I don't need advice. to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. Mm -hmm. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Don't need the extra jobs. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeeva instead. What happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. A curse? Well, what can we do about it? 
I'll tell you what I don't we care do. what we're doing. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. Don't need your extra All work, you need dude. All you to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Don't want your extra work, literally at all. I'm here for the, the, here's the map, you want this? Well, well, I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. Job's done, boss. I promise it'll be worth the effort. Like you said. This should compensate you for your fight. Anything we need to know. Thank you. Yep. All right, I don't want your crappy extra work. Where are you off to? She talked her Actually, wait. Like quite a good bit of he can train me in sneak. Stick with me, and he'll never even know you. I'm so wow. That is very expensive. I mean, it makes sense that he is like a master here. All right. Uh, hey. Before we begin, I, I can sell stolen Welcome things to, to you. So some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay. So she'll buy stolen things. So now's the time. She also has a quite a bit of money. Sell those, sell those. I'm kind of prioritizing whatever's stolen. All right, she's almost out. Sell both of those. There we go. That's about, that's most of everything I need sold. Pretty much. Can have that. Anything else I can sell to her while we're almost there? Ah, you can have that too. Beautiful, thank you. Now I'm up a thousand. Huzzah. Alright, beautiful. Now let's go back inside the main area here. And uh, let's go talk to Mercer, tell him what we learned. And we can get get this puppy rolling, am I right? Okay, for some reason my iPad won't shut up. There we go. Let's put that on silent so it'll shut up. Hey. Give up hey, look, any there's the map back there. On our buyer. He said Golden Glow was purchased by a Carlia. No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Golemai also told me she was a murderer. I also don't know why this Mercer is like whispering, so sorry if you can't hear him. I can barely hear him either. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Why has she returned? Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. Golemai told me she said where the end began. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Well, there you go. Alright. Oh, well, you know, we actually probably should go speak to her about exchanging a piece of armor. Uh, because where we also happen to be carrying our armor. So, you know, now's the time. Now's the time, because this will be way less convenient later on. Let's see, so... I was... took a wrong... almost took a wrong turn there. There she is. Okay, so what does... what does our armor pieces do? Because I want to exchange one that's actually good. So this is... so the chest piece wouldn't be bad. So, probably just the ch chest piece. Well, actually, the, the gloves would be nice too, to be honest. Yeah, I, l l let's go with the gloves. Interesting. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Anything different about it? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. I uh, the gloves. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back. Unless you want to sell it at a discount, of course. 
Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, there you go. Very good. Tell Brindle. Hey, there we go. All right, so now the gloves do have a 25% instead of 15. Oh, See, available. now they're better, fancier, better, faster, stronger. Anyway, cool. Now let's go ahead and run outside, and I think we'll probably. I think we should probably run home because we're we're carrying a lot. I think we should run home and drop all this garbage off. Can I help you? I live here. I own this, and I own you. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I get there, and Lydia's immediately like, "Can I help you?" This is like, uh, well, no. I live here. I own this. I not only do I own it, I built it by hand. I might add. All right. Anyway, uh, okay. Nothing to sell because we actually sold everything we we wanted to. Oh, now she's all respectful. Now it's suddenly it's my thing. Anyway, okay, uh, mining stuff in this one, which we do have quite a bit of. Oops, store, sorry. And we, we did, we found 16 iron ingots back there. That was, that was awesome. Silver, a couple of pelts. Uh, okay, I think that's all of those. And then the weapons. We don't need dwarven arrows, it's a little aggressive. Or elven, elven dagger, we're all set. We, yeah, this, will, this one, it'll, uh... We'll have to babysit it if we do this, so let's just put that away. We found out we have, we're carrying a hundred iron arrows. And let's put back the Nordic bow, because our bow is way better. Yeah, our bow beats the brakes off that one. Way better. And then this is armor. A couple of amulets. Can't put those away. Put that away, put those away. Put the entire Thieves Guild armor away. Because obviously we are all set. Obviously. All right, and then potions, strength, haggling, health. Uh, we can put all the extreme stuff away. Put, put the, that one away. We're carrying too much magicka. We can put that one away. Uh, let's put the plentiful healing healing ones away as well. And then isn't this books or scrolls? This is scrolls. Okay, we don't have any scrolls. We do have some books, I think, though. Methinks. Okay, these are soul gems, which I know we have some of. Soul gem, soul gem, uh, there we go. Okay, and then this has books, yep. All right, bill of sale, interesting. Journal, have need of Sinric. Interesting, uh, letter, which is there, those are all those are all, uh, whatchamacallit, quest items. Ingredients, we do have a little bit. Beautiful. Now, we have a few things to drop off, like a bee in a jar. We also have a dragon claw. But I don't think we have a miscellaneous thing in this in this thing. I think all of our miscellaneous stuff is at our old house, I think. I wonder if we should drop off stuff at our old house. Or, or if we could just start storing stuff here, too. Yeah, let's just start doing that. Let's just put it in here. Miscellaneous stuff. Bee in a jar. Oh, that's quest item. Can't get rid of it. There we go. Miscellaneous stuff will go in there for now. That way we don't have to make trips. Anyway, there we go. Now we're all set. Okay. Now let's give it a save now that we empty the old inventory. Okay. So, really we should move on with this, but I'm really tired of doing Thieves Guild. But that's the thing. is It sucks now, but if we could just get past it. If we could just get past it, then it'll... It will, uh... It'll be so convenient for us. I wonder actually if we should grab the fire salts so, since we're right here. Let's run back. Do we have 10 fire salts? It would not surprise me. All right, fire salts. Do I have 10? Uh, let's see, fire salts. I have 12 as a matter of fact. Beautiful. All right, well, let's go turn these fire salts into that guy and then we'll probably go and do the main, that story quest for Thieves Guild, sad face. All right, the sun is burning my eyes as usual, but we're here and we have the fire salts Which we might as well do while it's very convenient Excuse me peons Hey, man, I have your fire salts come to see back Amazing these must have been very hard to come by I actually already had them saved my business and warmed an old Smith's heart for that I thank you You're welcome Wow, he gave me 1,200 gold for that. 1,250? That's awesome. Cool. Okay, uh, I don't care about learning about the Thieves Guild from Vex. 
Visit the hunters at Frostmoon Crag. That's interesting. Uh, the Wreck of the Squall. East Empire Pendants. Nordic Pickaxe. Interesting. All right. All right. I would love to stall and not do it, but alas, we really, really should. Wow, it is like tucked up in here all on its lonesome. Well, well. Look at that. And the guard is, he's this guard over here. He's, he's at the ready. He wants to fight. I don't know if this dragon does, though. He's just kind of bopping up there. He's not really... He doesn't look very interested in me, TBH. Yeah, I don't know, man. He's just kind of circling, but... I don't really get the sense he's coming after me. So unless he lands, it's not my problem. But hey there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Guard. If he ever lands, you can start shooting at him. Are you interested? Are we, are we doing this? Not really. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, moving on. Whoa! Holy heavens above. Cultus. Oh, why did it have to be flames? Why did it have to be flames? Okay, hang on. That's not help. That's not helpful. Uh, I'm coming for you, pal. And you. Sure I will. Dead. We're good. So it's like, why did it have to be flames? Alright, first let's fix the health situation. Beautiful. All right, now we can loot their their pathetic corpses. Uh, I don't need any anything else. I already have your the robes, so I don't need it. Even on a uh, for funsies perspective, I don't need it. And candlelight, I already know it, so I don't even need to pick up the book. And then the other interesting thing is these guys were attacking. I think it was a a uh, yeah ice wraith. So I was trying my best not to get involved, because, uh, I was like, oh no. Interesting. Anyway, I was trying my best not to get involved, because I really didn't want to have to fight an Ice Wraith. I hate those things. Well, well, Frost Troll. Alright then, pal, let's do it. Oh, you're so screwed, pal. Told you. Look at that grouping, too. Alright, anyway. We're just about there, so. Mercer. Mercer. I think he's... Yeah, there he is. Right over there. Hey, man. Good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. Oh, yeah? You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Yeah, me blundering into a trap. Keep your eyes Idiot. Open. Mouth shut. Idiot. I love the way he talks down to me. It doesn't, like, super bother me at all or anything. Even though I'm the frickin' dragonborn. Oh, hang on. Hey, get down here, you lazy cuss. I need you to open this door. There you are. Open the door, pal. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Oh, yeah? Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how, not a lot of skill. Uh huh. I don't and know why you were it. so quiet. After you. Thank you. Anyway, I don't know why he's so quiet. His dialogue—it's like he's whispering. I could turn it up, but uh, at the same time, 
the, my right earbud buzzes if I turn it too loud, and that is really unpleasant, so, you know. Now, normally, I would be sneaking through here, but because I have a companion, I don't think that's a very wise plan. So we're just going to kind of bop through. We're going we're gonna to ignore Mercer, because the dude whispers, and I don't want to have to stick around for his dialogue. So we're going to pretty much ignore him. Steel shield. We have company. Be a good opportunity to level my two-handed, am I right, team? Take all those. All those. What does this do? Oh. Opens the door, of course. I don't think there's anything else good in there. And that side's all sealed. Okay. Follow me, Mercer. Pull the chain over there and watch out. Spikes. Looks like Lya resettled. Put the traps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent a lot of time in uh, Draugr ruins, pal. Not exactly my first rodeo. Okay. Oh, that guy's not dead. Hang on. Let's uh, let let's deal with this situation, shall we? Huh. As if I don't know. Alright. That's how you do that, Mercer. Are you impressed? Are you impressed yet? He's like, no. I'm like, ah, well. You can't please the unpleasable. Are you gonna do, are you gonna do this, or are you gonna sit there? He's gonna pretend I don't know what's going on, but obviously you can see how well that worked for him. Oh, there's another one. Eh, I would crouch with that, but I don't think I don't think it would be enough. I keep switching to my great sword because I want to level it up. Oh, lock picking, why? Anyway, because I, I want to level it up, but, uh, alas, there's so many Draugr that are sleeping, they don't wake up unless I stab them. So, you know. Well, I mean, they don't really wake up at all. I just... If they're going to not wake up, you might as well take advantage of it. Please. Could we not make this needlessly difficult? There's no reason to go 98% and not work. Thank you piece of garbage. Those are all my potions. I freaking deserve those potions. I'm so happy this whole experience is not going to be a thing for much longer. I hear footsteps of the undead variety. Come on, pal. Let's do it. Your feeble attempt to hide is insulting. Get him, Mercer. Get him. Death Lord. Get him, Mercer. Don't be such a coward. Get him, Mercer. There's a lot of them. I have faith in you, pal. He's almost hes almost uh, dead, though. He's not winning this fight. Huh. He healed himself a little bit. Oh, he's down. I win. I like how the dude behind him just died because my armor killed him. That's pretty funny. Ooh, Arcaceros. He wasn't fooling around. So, but what a sissy. I crushed those guys. What's your excuse? He's like, they were mostly dead. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. You're just weaker than me. You're just not as cool as I am. You can't hide from me. I'm gonna be honest, he's actually not wrong about that one. Ooh. Fl fancy glass bow. Who knows? We might be able to break it down. Probably not, but maybe. Ooh. 
Mercer, you stole my kill. You realize how long it takes for me to wind up to get a hit on? It's, uh, not fast. We're about, we're about to have company, dude. Huh, I fully expected something, something to happen. Wow, he ignored me. How rude. Ow. We'll go get him, sissy boy. Excuse me. Don't be a kill stealer, Mercer. No one likes those people. I was working on it. It wasn't as fast as you, but to be fair, I'm also using a two-handed weapon, which is slower than yours, alright? Trying to level up, Mercer. Don't blunder into any of them. Hey guys, make sure we make sure you don't hit don't hit the bone chimes. You don't want to wake up all the Draugr that are here. All of them. Careful, guys. You don't want to wake up all of the Draugr you see before you. Idiot. We just got done killing all those Draugr, you moron. Idiot. Dumb little idiot. Dumb little idiot. <laughs> hey, let's do it. I'm ready for the war. My shout hurts worse than yours. Ouchie. You guys don't have the power to knock me over. I don't know. There's a lot of these guys. I almost wonder if I should take this seriously. Oh, come on. Let's see it. Oh, there's one over here. You don't have the strength to knock me over, pal. Don't try to steal my kill, Mercer. I deserve that. There he is. Looks like, where's that Death Lord? I already have an ebony sword. That's old news. Ow. Dumb little skeever. All right, where's some of the archers? Let me let me, let me clear out some of the peons. Hey! You think I'm just gonna let you sit back here and shoot me with arrows forever? He's dead. Relax. I say, as I get hit by another ice spike. Just let those guys contemplate their existence for a minute. Okay. Hi! <laughs> Mercer's calling the undead dude a coward as if he... as if he cares what you think. You know what? Actually. Hey! That's for you. Yeah, he does seem to be not very interested. And coming out to say hi. He doesn't seem incredibly interested. Okay. Alright. Nothing crazy there. Just a regular peon dogger there. Mercer, relax, bro. It was a skeever. Well, well, look who it is. I don't know how he got up here. I mean, he might have ran up these stairs, to be honest. He might have just done it and then came back. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> it's just like so uninterested in his little tail. So uninterested. What, what, is it? what? What is it? We just got in here. 
I haven't even had time to look around yet. Mercer, stop stealing my kills. You know what, fine. You, you, want, you want the Death Lord? You can have him. Let's go first person. A little hard to see what's happening in the middle of us. Go get him, princess. It's a lot of death lords, man. That's a lot of death lords, man. No shouting for you. Hang on. Finish the one. Oh, it's the other one. Gotcha. All right, hang on. Now we need to, let's see here. Uh. Beautiful. So ends the lesson. So ends the lesson, says the dude on the ground. As if you had, like, anything to do with it. You tried to help, you got, you lost, after you tried to, after you stole a couple of my kills. And that was it. So let's not, let's so ends the lesson, as if you had something to do with that. You can just stay on the ground. You can catch up when you're feeling up to it, princess. Uh huh. You like that? Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy. This whole lock picking thing is almost behind us. That's the reason we're we're doing the thieves guild. Thank you. Oh, didn't jump high enough. Hunting bow. Oh boy. Yeah, don't shout at me. Come on. There's a lot of there's a lot of death lords in here. Ah, you couldn't save your friend. On, no one panic. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, we were actually there for healing. It, it occurs to me. Yeah. You want to be next? That hurt. Yeah, my shot's better, pal. Because mine actually did something. Gotcha. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, top off here. These guys are not fooling around, man. There's a, there's a lot of Death Lords in here. And I realize that it would be a lot more efficient, like... They would die a lot faster if I wasn't goofing around with a two-handed weapon. But to be fair, I'm leveling two-handed, because otherwise it's going to take us the rest of our lives to level. So I have to start- I'm leveling other, you know, other things that we- that uh, skills I wouldn't normally use, because obviously, if we, if we want to level, it needs to happen, otherwise we're never going to get there. So, you know, it's a slower process, but we're getting there. Yo! D9. Whoa, it like canceled the death animation. Oh, no, but he, he was still locked in, even if it didn't give it for me. That made sense. Don't uh, don't ask questions. 
It made sense. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Alright. Now that's all back in place. Moving on. This guy already dead. I mean, you know, like, again. I think I should, like, wait for Mercer to show up. Let's, uh, I guess let's wait for Mercer. Oh, look! There he is. So, Mercer, how you feeling, pal? You ready yet? Or are you just gonna sit there and cry about it forever? Do I have... I was gonna say, I think I have a... I'm not gonna be able to do this for very long. I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of, uh, magicka. There, I dumped my entire magic gauge into you, dude. So if you're not feeling it now, there ain't nothing I can do about it. Alright. It's like, alright, fair enough. I guess we're on our own here, team. He's like, just permanently dead or whatever. Yeah, who's there? Oop, Draugr Death Overlord. So, pretty sure that shout that that dude hits, pretty sure it's a disarm shout, by the way. It's a, like the most annoying shout ever, because then you lose your weapon. First, let's clear out some of the chaff. Chaff being the uh, restless driver. Hey, you big old punk. I'm getting ping ponged in here. Oh, there he goes. I was going to say, like, where'd he go? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No, stop chasing me with cold! Alright, hang on. One one thing at a time here. Alright, here he comes. You wanna piss off there, punk? Okay. We're good. Uh, let's see. Let's go, pal. Come on. Hey, disarm me now. Mercer, you're in the way. I realize this is going to do no damage, but it's going to be a great way to level. And I know I don't care about friendly fire. Actually, this, this is the time to actually finally use our magic potions. There you go. See, it's working. Aha! Hardly worth your time. Shut up. I already have war axes and ebony shields. None of that's special. None of that is special. I hear the word wall. I hear it. I also I also see it now as well. Uh, none of that's good. Of extreme destruction, that's awesome. Of major stamina, that's just cool. Adept roads of restoration, we'll take it. I might be able to break it down. Probably not, but maybe. All right. Light armor to 62. Bam, it was enough. We're leveled up. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, boy. Okay. Now that we we actually started to use some magicka, let's see. So if the ring I'm wearing is 50, so health needs to go up by one more to be even, except the ring, of course. So let's go ahead and do health. That way we're even. And if I want to do, you know, magicka next level or something, I guess technically we could. Let's see. Upgrading heavy armor makes sense. I mean, obviously we're not wearing a headpiece, though. Less stagger when wearing heavy armor. Half damage from falling if wearing heavy armor. Heavy armor weighs nothing and doesn't slow you down. And what is this one? It's additional 25% if wearing a match set. And then 10% chance to reflect melee damage back to the enemy while wearing a full set of heavy armor. 
So not, not, no, not too much of that higher level stuff is all that good. We could just increase the overall armor rating of our heavy armor. Would probably be make, would make more sense. Let's see, power attacks with two-handed weapons cost 25% less stamina. I like that idea. Standing power attacks do bonus damage with a chance to decapitate. That's the one I want. We have that, for, we have that for one-handed, but it would just be cool to have it for two. Grabbing that same thing would also be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So now power attacks are less costly, which would be nice. I also wonder, does that uh, ring of major dis extreme destruction, does it look dumb? Uh, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, especially with our, you know, our glowing eyes and our... It, it kind of works. It kind of works. Plus, as a bonus, it'll make our destruction spells incredibly cheap. Which, which honestly would be really cool if we could actually, you know, use Magicka more. Mostly, it'd just be a nice way to level. All right, what do we got? Anything good? Weapon, disarm. That's actually not terrible. We we'll probably won't use it, but at least, at least it's not, you know, at least it's not garbage. All right, you ready, hombre? I just like close it so I lock him out. Oh, we should actually give that a save. We should give that a save. Let's just take care of that now. You ready there, pal? Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Mm hmm. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. And since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Not that he's going to tell us how. Is close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. Uh-huh. Well, you've, well, you've done so much so far. You've contributed contributed to the team so much. You know. Heaven knows we'll be fine, I guess. Darn! I don't feel good. Oh no, I'm so surprised. Obviously, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Completed. Find Carlia. You found her when she shot you. Yep. Well done. Me. Good job, team. As I lay there on the floor, completely paralyzed. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Poof. I'm a full Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. I can still see her. You can see her. There she goes. Up the, up the stairs. Help me up. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Traitor! Don't do it. Don't do it. You'll uh, you'll regret it, pal. <laughs> Iron dagger. Dar, he stabbed me. It's gonna take more than that to kill me. He doesn't know who I am. He doesn't know who I am, boy. So yeah, uh, Mercer's a filthy traitor. Oh, my vampire blood in the daylight. Want to go, dark elf? Easy. 
Easy. I think she's a dark elf. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? Um, hold on, hold on. You shot me. No, I saved your life. Oh, it's day. It's My daylight arm was suddenly. Tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Uh huh. Why save me? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. Uh, you should have shot Mercer instead. I promise you, the thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. That's a stupid plan. Why capture him alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus' murder. He could have if you just shot him. See, this is why the Thieves' Guild sucks. How will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus' remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Perhaps it could be translated. Enther. Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. Uh, there's that word again, Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, we need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Poisons! Poisons for days. Okay. Remember, speak only to Enzo. Trust no one else. Yes, yes. Trust no one else. Got it. Look, a horse. I'm pretty sure that's uh, Carlia's horse, by the way. By the way, so uh, yeah, obviously, uh, what's his face? Yeah, obviously, um, Mercer, that's his name, is a filthy traitor, obviously. He was the one that killed Gallus once upon a time. Carlia has been framed, but she's not really, she's not really the bad guy. And there, there you have it. And there you have it. So yeah, now we're uh, the goal here is to is to prove innocence, is to prove was it was her innocence. Yeah, the the, go the goal is to prove her innocence. Oh, too far. And my goal is to kill Mercer for stabbing me, and for betraying me. Is that coming out of your ears? No, you broken dialogue. It's not because I'm a vampire now. That's one of those things. You're like really. Didn't didn't think to change that dialogue, so now they're still doing the whole "Are you a werewolf?" thing when obviously I'm not a werewolf anymore. Zero out of ten. Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. The mages don't let us go in the college. They said it's not safe in there. It's not. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This, this is why people have a problem with your college, Nella. Asser says his paw says the college makes lots of bad things happen. Hey, man. My days at the college are long behind me. Did you not walk away when we're talking? Dagor and I. You with the college? No, gods no, not for years. I left Winterhold for some time and returned to stay here at the inn. Uh, why would you live here in the inn? I still have research that keeps me busy, and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. Mm hmm. Fascinating. Anyway, that's not at all why we're here. Hey, you. Hey. Yes, yes, what is it? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes, but there's a problem. Problem? Let me see it. Oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, 
Coselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Ah, yes. <laughs> what exactly is a farmer? As if we hadn't seen farmer before. As if we hadn't seen farmer before. Can I help you with anything else? No, you can't go away. You've already provided me with what I need. Now we're going to go speak to a very cranky wizard. Uh oh. I forgot I was wanted in Markarth. Yeah, uh, you caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Smart woman. I'm loaded. It's now, fine. Come along. Yeah, yeah. I know how it works. Shut up. There you go. No longer wanted. Just like that. And we're only out a thousand gold. Obviously not a problem. So yeah, I uh, forgot I was wanted in Markarth. So that, so that's pretty funny. Which of course makes no no difference because obviously we are we are very rich. A thousand gold makes no difference. I will. I can make more than that. Very, very, very quickly. Very quickly, it is no problem. All right, so let's go speak to a cranky court wizard. He is not, he is not going to be friendly. Word of warning. He is not going to be friendly. All right, he's up here to the left, over by the um, Hall of the Dead, and uh, yeah, he's over by the where we did the, you know the. Mission for Namira, I believe. I have things to study. What is it? I hear you're the authority on ancient Falmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Selmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Perhaps I could view your work? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Uh... Per... But I'm a great admirer of your work. While I appreciate the sentiment, I... Being Darn it all. an admirer... All right. Uh... Appreciate the need what will it cost? I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to. Yeah, being, I didn't think so. Grant me or you'll regret it. Do you realize that you best rethink this? Yeah, right. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. Mm-hmm. What's this? Obtain the key. Oh, there's... Look at that. It's the key. Idiot. <laughs> He's like, of course not. And I'm just like, oh yeah, all right. I'll, I'm sorry, sorry, sir. Didn't mean to have an issue. And I just steal the key off the table from right behind him. I was like, all right, thanks. Good talk. Hello, guys. All right. This is where things get difficult. Now, she handed me something. She wouldn't have happened to have handed me uh, anything that gives me makes me invisible. Did she? No, no. I didn't think so. Alright, so here's the thing, is we have to get... First, let's give this a save, because we have to... We're not allowed in this area, so... So you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? Alright. No need to be rude. Huh, that's interesting. I feel like I swear I remember him throwing a fit. Historically. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway. Our goal here, because there is private security here, our goal here is to do this as quietly as we possibly can. And like, n you know, without getting caught. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Nice and quiet, team. For a second, I thought that spider behind me was very much, you know, alive and moving. That was close. Full disclosure, I thought he was going to go the other way. 
Lots of farmer garbage. Sneak to 90! Aha, uh -huh, this looks like a super secret way. Lots of random crap. Ooh, a chest. A locked chest, sad face. Nailed it, first try, if you can believe it. Ring of Remedy. What the heck was that? Ring of Remedy. Health generates 20%, regenerates 20% faster. Wow, that's awesome. I've never even heard of that ring, that, that's cool. Let's go ahead and give this a save, considering uh, A, what we just found. And B, because obviously it's going really well. I also landed directly on top of that trap, by the way. So that's unfortunate. But it doesn't matter because the trap is deactivated. We never got, we haven't been seen so far. There we go. Still not seen. All is going well. All right. Plus, it's a lot easier because we have the key. It's a lot easier than it otherwise would be because we have a key. So I, I there's a lot less lock picking I have to do, which is always a good thing. Anything uh, super juicy? Nope. All right, nice and quiet like. Lab journal. Interesting. Take the fancy book, on principle. No one panic, this is a spider control rod. That spider is under my control. Uh, directs spy the spider to the target. There you go, see? Just like that. Alright, my little spider friend. Come here, spider boy. Defend yourself! Wow, the spider won! Gonna be honest, I literally had a hundred- I had no expectation, I thought he was gonna lose for sure. Well, how about that? Alright, moving on. To you. Are we having a problem? It appears to be a a yes. Easy. We're good. That was close. All right, no one panic. Easy. Please don't go towards me and go the other direction. Come on, pal. Patrol a different way. All right, let's actually give this a save right here. That way, in case I get caught by this guy, we can still salvage it. Aha! Didn't expect me to go around that side of the pillar, did you? I don't know how many copies of that key I need, but I'm a key hoarder. It's fine. 
just double check either A for anything good or B for more guards the spider is stuck on a wall somewhere ignore him all right I'm not entirely positive where we're where I'm supposed to be going but just kind of heading in this general direction seems like a good plan Lots of random Dwemer pieces. Ooh. Firebolt, firebolt, candlelight, magic of poison. We don't care about that. Laboratory key, because you can never have too many copies of the same key, I guess. Alright, I'm not picking that. I was just, if it was free, I would take it. Right? Yeah, those are just books. All right, we're good. Ew, all right, we're good. This way. There we go, this way. All right, now let's give that a save, considering how well this is going so far. Ignoring the spider, he's stuck on a wall somewhere. Nice and quiet team, these guards are deaf as posts. I should have gone with them even farther, but I chickened out. Easy. Don't worry guys, my, my sneak is very, very good. This is ballsy. We made it, we made it, we're good. You guys ready for this? I oh, look at Master Lock. Huh. I thought the, um. So not picking that. I thought the, uh, control was on. that was over here, but I think it's a little farther. We're almost there. Really? Is the wheel on that side of things? Really bizarre. I really thought the control was on the was on this side, but I guess not. Alright, ni nice and quiet like. Easy. No one panic. I don't need another copy of all those keys. I'm already carrying too many. All right. What is over here? We're gonna have to deal with that guard probably. I imagine. Yeah, lots of random Dwemer. Lots of random Dwemer garbage. Huh, that's not what I expected. <laughs> Dead. Alright, it's going well. Infiltration is going well. Don't worry, it'll be worth it, trust me. No, this can't be happening. Boo. Aha, I bet they didn't see that coming, did they? They got absolutely massacred in there. They didn't see that coming, did they? 
And like he's like, oh my gosh, and he like tries to run out and just dies. Huh, I think my spider finally uh, got caught, by the way. Which, you know, no surprise there, it was only a matter of time. I wonder if he won. Yep, there he is. There's my little spider. He's just bopping around. I think he might have finally gotten unstuck, by the way. Which, you know, how exciting for him. Arcane Enchanter. Ooh. Dwemer Puzzle Cube. Sweet. More money for me. Alright, so looks like we're headed over there. I just want to double check what's over here. Oh, this is the other way around. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay. We're it's going well. Plus, we gave it a save, so... You know, worst case scenario... Oh, my eyes. It's fine. So, yeah, worst case scenario, it's, it's, all, it's all totally good. We can reload if we get caught as a, as a backup plan. Into the tower. Oh, I know what this is. I almost think this thing is... I think this place is unguarded. If I'm wrong, we'll just reload the save. But I think this place is unguarded when you first go in. Obviously, you know, spoiler alert, it's not going to be unguarded for very long. Spoiler alert. Yes, yes, yes. Open sesame. All right. Charcoal. Roll of paper. Trust me, it'll make sense in a minute. I'm just looking for anything really super sweet. If we're already going to steal, we might as well rob him blind. If we're already stealing, then we might as well really steal. I was about to say, I'm really not surprised that I have that one. The, the name even looked familiar. Magica. History and culture. And just a roll of paper. There's a chest. The key does not open it. No, it's not worth it. Alright, now let's give this a save before this kicks off. Alright, now we have a rubbing of what we need. Aha! Uh -huh. And that is how we do that. <laughs> four shots, four kills, and we never got seen. Lols. That's how you know your, uh, your damage is really good. Because these guys are obviously, obviously they're all wearing steel armor. And they still got one-shotted. So good. So juicy. Alright, let's go ahead and give that a save. That went well. Because, uh, it, depending on what level you go in here, this area can be pretty tough. Because if, if you're not leveled very high and then you, like, you know, just bop your way into that tower, those guys coming in is, is really tough. So it's not enough that you can just one-shot them, you know, one-shot them like I did. Obviously, we, have, we are really high level and our sneak damage is obscene. So obviously we were able to one-shot them and it was no big deal. Anyway, come on, buddy. You can do it. It's a very, very short railing. There we go. Okay, so we're going to bail off this waterfall here. We're going to give it a save. And obviously, we are going to hit the become ethereal shout, just in case. I almost think we have level two of this, don't we? Uh, oh, no. We only have the one. All right. Fine. All right. Hang on. We'll just have to wait. I got stuck. You actually can't go off the waterfall on that side. Didn't know that. Oh, this is the waterfall I was thinking of. So what's funny is this is what the, the game is telling you to do this too. The game wants you to bail off the waterfall. So this is where you're supposed to go. But if you mess up this jump here, the, uh, there is rocks down below. Now if you don't, it's fine. But I always go, I always become ethereal too. Because then it doesn't matter. See what I mean? I would have lived anyway. But it's not something that you want to chance. You know what I mean? Oh, I can't see. 
I thought there was a... Aha! I was about to say. Alright, it's not that worth it. It's like a few p tiny pieces of gold. Anyway, there you go. So yeah, I usually just hit the become ethereal shout before I bail off for safety. For safety! Okay. Now let's, let's uh, run down below here. Excuse Mages me. Go I'm going to go into your basement. Don't they freak out. Alright. Let's go ahead and run out down here. And let's give the elven dude the, the rubbing we have. And all will, will be well. Yo! Back, eh? And how was our friend Caselmo? Uh, less than forthcoming, but I got what I needed. This should help translate Gallus' journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. Smart man. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Alright. Teach us... Tell us what you know. We're quite the pair. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. Highly. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Hmm. Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Hmm? Hey, man. Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thank you, Enther. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden, and you find yourself in Winterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, man. If you have further need, we must hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Um, Gallus' journal mentioned the Twilight Sepulchre. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Why does it require that type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal, and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Thieves and temples, it just doesn't add up. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. I understand you better if less mystery was involved. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Very well, we'll do it your way for now. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. I'll put it to good use. If the guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. Nightingale Blade. It's a very, very, very good sword. Taking me. If mystery or if memory serves. Uh, Nightingale Blade. As you can see, it also looks amazing. Absorb 20 points of health and 20 points of stamina per second oh, from the target. Own. It's very good, um, but it is a uh, in, it is a enchantment 
it's a uh, soul gem hog. Yeah, it, it drinks soul gems like a thirsty camel in the desert. So you know, you know, as is the case with most with most any you know, with most any item uh, that requires soul gems. So you know, it is an awesome blade, but we will just keep it. We'll probably just go drop it off at the house. We'll probably just make a quick house run and drop off all of our goodies. Um, I actually am also, I'm having another idea of something that we should do before we get to all that goodies. Um, so if you guys, so if you guys notice now we are wearing the, um, what's it called? The, uh, we're wearing a, uh, circlet of like extreme destruction or something. So basically it means that, you know, destruction spells are, are incredibly cheap for us. Is... As fun as it would be to go into magic, and I keep thinking about it, and maybe we'll, to some degree we'll do it, like, you know, use flames every so often and, and restoration just to boost our levels and stuff. Um, we'll, we'll do all of that. I, I feel like, you know, realistically, I don't can think I we can go, you? like, super deeply in, into into magic or anything. However, if you guys remember, let's actually just do this first while, while we're talking about it. If you guys remember, a while back we made a... It's not that one, it's this one. Uh, we made a circlet that we made from, I think it was like the ethereal or ethereum. It was, uh, it's a very, very fancy circlet. Now, one of its effects is that it allows you to keep uh, more than one standing stone active at the same time. Uh, if you guys remember that. There we go, the ethereal crown. But retains the last standing stone ability you held, granting you its effects in addition to those of your current stone. We are actually going to take that. Because now that, I, now that I'm just accepting that, you know, we're just going to wear a circlet, it's fine. Now that I... It, it'll be amazing. It'll really help us level. It's not going to look as amazing with our armor, but, I don't know, we can think of ourselves as royalty or something. But anyway, so it is unfortunate, but... Honestly, it would be instrumental because then we can grab another standing stone and that'll really, really help us level, you know, much, much quicker. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and store this, store those. Uh, let's see, a lot of that is, let's see, stamina, that one goes, ring of remedy, that one goes in there. Anyway, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wear it and then we're going to go grab another standing stone because then we can have two at the same time. And then that's really going to help us level very, very quickly, which would be, which, which would be awesome. Okay, let's see. We actually have a couple of... Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, we have... First of all, we could put the glass bow and the control rod in there. We're gonna... The, the night, Nightingale Blade. I wonder if we should... Well, it's not really It's not really a Daedric item. I mean, is it? It's not, is it? I don't know. That might be a Daedric item. We're gonna go... We're gonna put this in the Daedric chest. Because it might... It might be a Daedric item. I don't know. Regardless, it's a it's a, such a fancy blade. We're just gonna store it. Anyway, but yeah. So so that's that. That's the bonus about wearing this crown is uh, it will we can grab two standing stones and that's gonna help us level really really quickly by comparison. Um, so obviously that's pretty invaluable. Now I think the trade off. Whoops. I think I think the trade off is odds are we'll never be able to take it off. Uh, but we'll just you know I don't like wearing helmets anyway. So you know we we can make it work. So yeah, let's, uh, I will go ahead and dump off all of these goodies, and I will probably just, uh, see you guys when we are at the, our new standing stone that we're gonna grab. Ah, yes, my eyes are burning. Welcome to the Guardian Stones. So, these ones, as you will recall, back at the very beginning of the game, were our first, uh, standing stones that we were, that we were able to grab, you know what I mean? So, because now we decided that we are gonna wear the ethereal crown, now we can choose another standing stone. So, the stone that we are currently wearing is, let's see here, the Lover's Stone. Now, the Lover's Stone, it improves all skills 15% faster. So, if we grab one of these, now, one of these stones, uh, it, we can choose one of these, uh, it improves, this one is combat skills 20%, one of them does sneaking, and one of them does uh, magic skills. Considering that we are wearing heavy armor, light armor, we're using two-handed, one-handed, you know what I mean, and all that stuff, it makes sense that, to grab warrior. So, we are gonna grab, uh, we are gonna grab the warrior stone. Anyway, as you can see, it did remove Leverstone, but then it re-added it because of the crown. Um, so looking at our effects now, we have the Warrior Stone and the Lover Stone both active right now. So now that's going to help because now our combat skills are going to improve 25% faster. So that's how that happens. Man, that crown is really cool looking. Anyway, um, 
but yeah, so now we have two stones active at the same time, and that is going to help us level much faster. So I think odds are we're going to have to end up wearing, uh, we're going to ha have to end up wearing this crown, I mean, if, for a long time if, if we want to level. Um, if we want to level quicker, but we don't like, you know, we don't really like wearing, uh, I don't like wearing helmets anyway. You know what I mean? I don't like wearing helmets anyway. And, uh, and so, you know, so if I wasn't wearing a helmet anyway, so it's really not that big a deal. Cause it's not like we're sacrificing a helmet cause we don't, we don't wear them anyway. And a lot of the armors that we have, like we, even if some of them give bonuses for wearing four, you know, four pieces. So obviously this, uh, crown doesn't count as, as, as the fourth piece, but like I said, never wear a helmet. So that's not a bonus we were getting anyway. So, you know. As you can as you can see, it's not that big of a loss, and the bonuses we gain for being able to get two standing stones at the same time is worth it. And I don't know how long I'll be wearing this armor. Odds are I mean I really do like the like the look and, and I don't really have anything better, so we'll probably be wearing it for a while until anything better strikes my fancy. But uh, it's awesome. I think that I think we'll get used to wearing a crown, and uh, it'll be worth it for all of the bonuses we're getting. So that's awesome. So the reason that I went in this way over going through the shortcut is because uh, Carlia is standing at the front of the ragged flagon, and she obviously isn't in the rear, you know, in the fancy rear entrance. So that's why we're going in through here so that we can, you know, correctly. Uh, have this little cutscene. It's not really cutscene, but you know, ha have this cool moment play out because some cool stuff happens. But obviously, we have to be over here and not in the secret entrance. So that's so that's why. In case you're wondering. Anyway, Carlia. I'm glad you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Oh, don't you worry. I'll defend you. Let's actually get out my greatsword for just such an event. Just in case things go down. Well, keep going. I'm only following you. Lead the way. Walk. I'm, I'll be right behind you. Right behind you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> They're like, whoa! Ignore us, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep drinking, enjoying your, enjoying your lives. Ignore us, and then once this whole little thing is played out, we need to give uh, Delvin that little Dwemer cube that we found for some money, money. All right, after you, Carlia, and in, in you go. All right. Hopefully, the uh, we'll see how well the guild takes this. This ought to be good. You better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please, Put your weapons away. I will cut you people in half. So we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. I will kill you now if you try, so pal. Proof you speak of. I have Dallas's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years. Right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. By just a blessed bunch of Bryn. What's in that book? What did he say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Nag of Mercer owned another vault that needs two keys. It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. You didn't need to pick the lock. What's she all about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Yeah, Delvin. Open the door, pal. You like how they have a freaking iron dagger on display over there? That's so weird looking. Go for it. Don't worry, Carly. I'll defend you. I already like you more than I like the rest of these peons. Right, the eight. It's gone. Everything's gone. 
Get in here, all of you. That's fine. I wasn't waiting anywhere. Look at that. They're all broke. There's nothing inside. The gold. It's yours. It's all gone. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Vex, put it away. Right now. Yeah, your little we tiny dagger. To lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't help it right there. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin. Vex, the tiny little dagger. It's so flag. pathetic looking. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Got lots of jobs available. Look, Interested? before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. Let's see. Uh, Mercer killed Gallus, not Car not Carlia. I, I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus's diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? Gallus, Carlia, and Mercer were Nightingales. What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tale. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. Was there anything else she told you? Carlia was behind Golden Glow and Hunting Brew. Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? No, that's it. Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home. And search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. He has a house in Riften? Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Rift Wheeled Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. I'll take care of it. Be careful, lass. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information, and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. It's about frickin' time. Uh, what's the best way into his manor? Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself. And that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. I don't suppose the ramp is easy to access. No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. Deal. Uh, you mentioned a watchdog? Huh. That'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. Oh, I got it. They're best Careful friends. No, I'm kidding. Place. I don't no but don't worry. I really do got it. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go have a chat with Vex. But first, how are you doing? They would have gotten bloody, and I tell you what, it's because uh, the thieves' guild would have gotten massacred. By the way, I would have absolutely destroyed them all, and felt absolutely nothing because the thieves' guild means nothing to me. It's all about the brotherhood, man. Brotherhood for life. Anyway, actually, wait. Hey. Uh, can you sell this dwarven puzzle box? Well, well. Or can I, I sell this to you? For this little beauty. If you happen to cross any Yeah, I know how it works. Quite a bit, actually. Quite a catch. Lit. 700 gold for that. All right. Vex, you grumpy little Before punk. We how begin, we doing? I want to make two things All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. Uh-huh. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. I can take care of And two... You follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Oh yeah, I'm so intimidated. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Nothing to say there. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. I don't we can care. get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? I don't care. Uh oh, actually, let's do this while we're here. Is this unusual gem worth anything? It's been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? 
Not like that, it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many... Uh, how many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. You sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. Well, there you go. Now we know what they are. Anyway, uh, Brynjolf said, Brynjolf said you have info on Vault? That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. I want to get on his good side. Vald? Good side? I think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. So, buy him off? Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. That's tempting. Fantastic. Done talking to you. I guess she's trying so hard to prove how tough she is. It's just like, oh please. Oh please. You little tryhard, I would I could beat you with my bare hands. You could even use a weapon as a handicap. Just like look into my glowing yellow eyes and tell me you're and tell me and ask me, am I scared of you? And let me give you the answer. I dare Mercer to come back here. Shut up, Sapphire. Open the door, open the door. Alright. So let's go talk to Maven, because we need to erase this dude's debt. Although as tempting it is to as tempting as it would be to just kick the door open and murder him. As funny as that would be, I would prefer to uh, go talk to Maven. And I think grouchy old Maven usually hangs out in this center here. If we're lucky, that's where she is. If we can't find her, we, we won't fret too hard. And we'll just, uh, you know, kick the door down and kill the dude. You're a stranger here too, huh? Ah, get out of my face. Way too close to you. you there you are. I presume you're bothering me. I'd like to erase Vald's debt. Vald? Why would you want to help that idiot? I don't. He owes me a steep debt. In fact, he's lucky all I did was force him to work for Mercer. What'd he do? A few years back, I commissioned a unique quill from a good friend of mine in Winterhold. Vald was tasked with getting it here safely, and it ended up at the bottom of Lake Homrick. He's in debt because of a quill? The wizards called it the Quill of Gemination, and demanded a tremendous amount of gold to have it made. If you can locate the quill and return it to me, something Vald was too stupid to do himself, I'll consider the debt satisfied. You know, how did I... Uh, I would say, I was going to ask till I realized I didn't care. Yeah, you know, God forbid it's easy or quick. Again, really tempting just to kick the door down and murder the dude. It's looking more and more tempting all the time. See, it doesn't even highlight it either. <laughs> Darn it! Alright, then I'm gonna go do some... I'm, gonna, I'm assuming that the lake she's talking about is the one right out here. It better be. If it's anything farther than what's right at the lake right here, then I'm not doing it. I'll just, I'll just open the door and kill him. Whoa! Dragon. Come over here, you punk. Uh, he's attacking the townsfolk. As they do. Hey! I bet you come land over here and not circle me like a filthy coward. No, he's just pretty content with shooting fire at people that can't fight back. Hey, you gonna land over here or are we just you just gonna circle and be an idiot? Land, I want the I want your soul. Nope, just continuing to hover, shoot fire. Killing the horses. And whatnot. I wonder who's who's over here on fire. Oh, it's just a guard. Good. No one that matters. Really? Land, you moron, land. Hey, freaking finally. Let's do it, I'm ready for war. 
Alright, we, we gotta be careful, cause, uh, fire. And as you can see, it hurts a lot. Wow. Like, one blast of fire, like, almost kills us. <laughs> I'm on the other side, so you can't see what I'm doing, but just trust me, I'm sure it's cool. Yeah, there we go. Alright, great, great kill cam. Well done. Gimme. I want all of that. It's all mine, I deserve it. Now give me the now give me the soul. Give it We're gonna need to like pick up another set of uh minor healing potions. We've used like twenty four of them. We normally carry fifty. Now we're at 26. That's because it takes like 12 of them to even do anything to us. That, that's the issue. We might could carry, we might could upgrade, like put back all the minor healing potions and carry a better one, it occurs to me. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Never seen such a thing. Well, there you go. I hope you guys are impressed. All right, anyway, that was fun. Now, on to our regularly, regularly scheduled programming. I've got to sift, sift through this lake, and it better be this one, for a... Uh, yeah, I've got to look for a quill, I guess. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Well, that's not good. All right, who died that I knew? Letter of inheritance. Who died? Uh oh! So apparently that th that kid who we helped like Sapphire's debt apparently he died. Apparently that dragon killed him. By the way, all right. Well, the good news is at least it wasn't anyone you know, at least it wasn't anyone earth shattering. No offense to the kid, but at least it wasn't anyone with any actual consequences. So you know that's a good thing. Bad news is we're still like freaking you know dredging the lake. I can tell you how good it's going. Well, well, kitties, I found it. Uh, I'm swimming right above it. The water keeps pushing me. Uh, and it's also really hard because I'm drifting and I'm drifting upwards. And Okay, well, now we need air, so it's really hard. It's a very tiny box. Got it. It's an expert lock, by the way. So on top of the fact that that was a pain in the butt, where it's also going to be super fun to have to pick it. Thank you. Stupid piece of garbage. Alright, we finally got it. I would say it was easy, but I'd be lying. It was actually incredibly irritating and difficult. Because I had to swim through that lake for like freaking 20 minutes. But I found it. Hindsight, really wondering if I should just should have kicked the door down and murdered the dude. I probably would have gotten a bounty, but I might not have. I don't know. Ah, oh, that was fun. All right, now let's go tell Maven I found her stupid pen. Bring the quill to Maven. Okay, so now she's highlighted, so at least now I know where she is. I guess she's over here. I suppose. Actually, this might be my objective. Blackbriar Manor. No, no, that's her. She's just she's just inside a building that can't get in. Come out here, Maven. Maven, come out here. You can't ring ring the doorbell or anything, so. You know, now that I did all that work, I am going to wait here until she out she's outside. All right, she's finally outside, and she's probably inside the bee in the barb now. Aha! There she is. She's at the Black Briar Meadery. Finally. Maven, you moron, I found your stupid pen. Better be frickin' worth it. Hey. I, what in the name of oblivion do you want? I found the quill. Really? I wrote that off a long time ago. Well, I suppose I need to fulfill my end of the bargain. Give this document to Vol. It frees him from the debt, but I never want to see him in Riften again. Me On and you both. What did you want? All right, now let's go tell Vald that I take, took yeah, care of his debt. If this is about the metering, so you know, we can talk later. you know, I guess that's a good thing, right? Is the fact that uh, we got that out of the way. 
I think this is locked. Isn't this like super, super locked? Yeah. It's locked. It ha only has an apprentice lock, but I've had my fill of lock picking. I've had my fill of lock picking, so I'm just going to run around. Hey, pal. Oops, sorry. Wrong gate. It's this one. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier hey, pal. With a belly full of me. Hey. Hey you, get over here. You think you'll freak out if I pick the if I pick the pick the lock? Hey! Get over here. He'll probably be really upset. He's getting warmer. <laughs> That's hysterical. I almost jumped it. Vald, you retard. Oh, there we go. He's finally coming. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. This is hey. Mercer Frey's place, and he don't like visitors. Now go away. I have something of yours. Of mine? What is it? Here, it's your debt with Maven. You're free. I can't believe it. How'd you talk her into this? I don't want to get into it. Never mind. I don't care. I'm just glad I don't got to work for Maven anymore. Here, you did me a favor. I guess I owe you one. Vald's debt removed. Mercer's house key. Oh, thank heavens. Alright. There we go. I'd say that was easy, but I'd be lying. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring out the daggers, just in case. Let's go ahead and give this a save, because I can tell you I'm not doing that again. Alright. Man, that was a pain. But it's fine. We survived. It's okay. No worries. High fives all around. Alright, discover evidence of Mercer's location. I'm ready. Aha, I knew there was bandits in here. Surprise! Uh, you have nothing else I want. Trying to be careful. Trying not to get caught immediately. there. Immediately? Immediately. Immediately? It's like, I can hear him. Alright, so he's probably downstairs or something. I figure, since we're here, we might as well rob the place. Alright. Oh, actually, we should search everything on this floor. Oh, there is another room. We should search everything on this floor first. Is this where I came from? <sighs> Retire someday. Get myself an island. Oh, this is where I came from. And he is downstairs, by the way. I can hear him. <laughs> Locked into place can't be opened. All right, fair enough. Anything good? No. Okay, downstairs, no more messing around. Downstairs. Easy. Hey look, a Debella statue. I want it. Aha! There someone is. You think we can sneak up on him? Probably. The only really unfortunate thing will be if he turns his head as soon as I get really close. That's a great song, sir. Not good enough, though. Alright, sneak to 91. Heck yeah, man. Alright, that might be all the... Might be all the bandits in here, TBH. It's also possible that that's not all of them, but it could be. Uh, charcoal, fine clothes, nothing good. It's about to say, I'm assuming most of these door bars. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Alright, we're all good. All is good in the hood. Ooh, 
super sneaky sewer entrance. I just noticed. I, I noticed the same time. I was like, wait a minute, is that? I just noticed it was a fire trap. Fear not, friends. See? There you go. Just like that. It's just that easy. Yeah, I see that one. Ooh. Huh. I fully expected a trap, so I was really trying not to get too close. Uh-huh. Wasn't even a trap that you can trigger there, it just knows. What's really funny is the fact that this means nothing to me. Fine. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Huh. Lols, your traps mean nothing to the mean nothing to the dragonborn. Nothing. I'm a genius. It's like I know, isn't it? It's almost like I know. Well, first, might as well rob the place. Uh, lots of books, lots of books, lots of books. Mercer's plans. Many thanks. Uh, not certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from Castle Dower to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the port cutlass, and unlock the armory door and break into that dwarven puzzle locked chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. I've left your cut in the usual drop spot and might have another job for you, R. Who can say who R is? Ooh. Man, Mercer, you naughty boy. It's like Skyrim's porn magazine. Take those. I'm still not picking that for a glass sword. Screw that. Don't worry, kids. None of this will matter soon. Ooh. Hey, look, another fancy item for Delvin. Oh, I just noticed that bowl is full of jewels. We're just going to loot the bowl just for, in, just for faster, you know, looting. All right. Lovely. I'm looking for like hidden buttons and things. The rat wave vaults. Technically we could get there through here. Ah, look at that. Well, well. Look at that. Mercer had a uh, direct entrance directly to the ragged flagon. How about that? Interesting. Tricky. Oh, well, actually, Delvin, I have like 35 things for you. Uh, her. I found this bust of the Grey Fox. It's worth anything? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross. Yes, yes, I know how it works. Mercer's place. He'd admired the Grey Fox for some time. Sure. I'll buy it from you. Here you are. Thank you. There's more money. Yay! All right. Inside we go. You think uh, Brynjolf is going to find this interesting? All the, all the, uh, I'll be like, hey, did you know Mercer has an entrance that's like six feet from the Ragged Flagon? Did you know that? The links directly to his house? Hmm? Hey, man. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. You don't say. Any luck on your end. Uh, he wasn't there, but I found these plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer. That was Gallus's pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Uh, then we have to stop him. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. No time to lose, you heard the man. Trinity restored. Not now, lass. Carlyle yeah, 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 I know. The only man who's foolish enough to name himself after his bedroom. Stupid cow. 
interest you in some marksman training. Ooh, I heard I heard you stupid cow. Not now. So, lots of said it was a all right, are we in position? Can we talk? Can you guys shut up? I'm trying to hear this. I lost, and I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. It's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Riften, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Deal! See you there. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and uh, give this a save. Beautiful. That'll be a fantastic place to call it. We got a lot done today after editing, I think, time-wise. I didn't realize we actually had gone over a little bit, but it doesn't matter. After editing, it'll balance out. Anyway, uh, we got lots of progress done today. Uh, we got done the majority of the Thieves' Guild, and next step, next episode, we undoubtedly will finish it. Um, next episode, it will be almost certainly be the episode where we get our elusive prize. The reason we've even done the Thieves' Guild, we'll be getting it probably next episode. The next time we do the major Thieves' Guild stuff, that'll be the time when we get our fancy prize. Finally! I'm so excited, I'm so ready. Anyway, lots of good stuff there. Uh, we did lots of level ups, we decided to wear the ethereal crown, the ethereum crown, or how, whichever that crown, the fancy crown. Uh, which will help us level even faster, which is really good because we have a long way to go. And uh, yeah, lots of progress has been done. And like I said, uh, I'm almost done with my anime, and most likely it will be finished probably to probably today, so that uh, maybe tomorrow might be the review for that. Um, so be sure to look forward to that, and uh, I'm very excited to be doing another anime review. It's been a while. And uh, very excited for that. Anyway, uh, I also will be recording on Saturday to help make up for the days we missed this week. Uh, I will do my best to record tomorrow and Saturday so you can look forward to those as well. Anyway, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today. And we will talk to you guys later.